Sergeant Kane I here reported for duty and last we left off we officially found out that the cats are robots and we have a new kid that is uh, reading the book with us kind of helping us out it's kind of making it a bigger area that we need to defend but it's not that much bigger we got a fat a cat a coming so that is gonna make uh, this is definitely a bit harder a lot of water 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 watermelon cats coming as well we got a lot of those all right, so let's, you know, basic defense. This is like probably one of the best defenses in the, I've ever made. And it's like, you know, it hasn't let me down that much, if at all, so far. So, you know what? I'm going to keep it up. Hopefully, you know, I'll get that out of there. And that. We don't need any of that, that bullshit rune in there, okay? Make it a little bit closer. I think that's about as close as it's going to get. And then a, a TV, of course. Then, you know, that magically floats there. On top of that, we'll have our lamp arena going and you know reducing all the damage of the of the cats, which is just you know damn amazing. Place uh, some of these down. Definitely place this right here to you know bounce the fat cat back. And then uh, you know definitely the pillows. You know what? I just realized we could use these pillows to stop the um. What is it? These cost 30? Oh my god, these cost a lot. Okay, let's put these away first. Never mind. I was going to say we could use those pillows to stop the, you know, the rampaging watermelon cats, but I don't know about that now because those cost a lot of freaking money to put down. Alright, uh, but we could do catnip. We could. I think it would probably be better if we doubled this up. To be 100% honest, I think that would just be the better move. Um, and then we're going to have to deal with another watermelon cat on each side oh we have 85 I mean we could go do this I think you know this is probably our, our best chance is to put one of these you know it would definitely block every cat and you know what let's just try that if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know sometimes you just gotta you know take it take a shot at it Ooh. oh those fucking cats ruined everything there's no way we're gonna win now I don't think so I think it's I think it's literally impossible. Holy crap, we What the fuck was that? What kind of bullshit was that? He literally bounced from there onto our lap. That is that's cheating. Bullshit a rune, alright. That's all I have to say about that. Alright, we need to uh, block these cats from doing that. We could put this here instead and take the chance of possibly them breaking through here. Possibly we could also use one of these three items right here, but uh, I want to kind of hold off on that for as long as we can Let's try this Just to block of these uh these double cats. Whoa They completely hit a different spot this time Okay, well, I'm just no no you asshole cats you keep messing up my freaking defenses Hey, well at least it worked that time at least it worked. I was kind of hoping that, you know, we'd bounce the fat cat back, but that didn't happen. Plus five time. I can see more cats getting ready to pounce. All right. Give me the, give me that plus five town, time. I found the switch watch in one of the boxes here in the attic. You know, how that gives me plus five time, I don't know, but I'm just going to accept it, all right? Damn, like everything got destroyed this time. That, this sucks. I have to say, this definitely sucks. We got to rebuild the whole thing. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh no, actually, we still have our TV there. I'm actually generally su what in the? F Did you just see like it magically move out of the way without me touching it? That was interesting. Let's put this back in here. Yeah, of course. Of this, there's no fat cats coming, so that's that's definitely a good thing. And we got three more watermelon cats again. I swear, man, these watermelon cats are like the hardest thing to deal with. I think by far they're the hardest. All right, um, and then we can put a pillow right here. Like I kind of want to put another thing here, you know, to defend. Maybe I'm gonna put this on top. You know, maybe we'll get some good cat hits and we'll knock down their damage. You never know, man. You never really know. Let's try it. Yarn launcher, go. Nice. Oh, oh, we hit it. Okay, I'm excited. It seems like we're doing all right. Never mind. It looks like this is getting a little fishy here. This is getting a little fishy. 
Ooh, that TV saved our lives. That TV saved our lives. Ooh, oh, okay, it's all the battery power stuff. Test a period, running connection, yeah, a bunch of did not diagnostics on the battery. I noticed doing an initial run of the cat seemed to be running through their main battery charge quite rapidly. Whenever a cat runs out of battery, it switches to a reserve charge until it can make it back to the basement. Once there, the machine creates a new clone of the cat with a new battery. Why don't you just replace the battery? That seems like way easier to do, or you know, get rechargeable batteries. Some of the cats still have a bit of charge left when they're destroyed by the machine for parts. I don't quite know how that works, but I guess the battery brand I was using just isn't wasn't up to scratch. I've been collecting an extra power left in the supposedly dead batteries for later use. I tried designing the cats with a replaceable battery during my initial design, but I ran out of time before I had to prepare for the surgery. Ah. The battery is the current design is hardwired and unable to be changed easily. I have enough parts for creating clones that clones oh wait, wow, wow. I have enough parts that creating clones should not be a problem for the foreseeable future. So all I need to do is find a way to extend the charge of the current hand wired battery. Or design, hand wired design. Hopefully the current battery slot allows for an expansion of a bigger battery so that is is the only so wait wait. Hopefully the current battery slot allows for an expansion as a bigger battery is the only solution I can think of at the moment to extend the rate of charge. Get a freaking replaceable battery. So that's how movement works. The bot has been getting its power back. I thought it was just recharging slowly over time. Hmm. I guess the more you know, so it's been we've been making a whole new move it bot over time. It just it gets its charge wasted and then it goes away and gets a, a brand new system made. All right. What is that? Another inflatable device. All right, we can definitely go explore, and I believe we have to do one of these things. Let's see: globe statue and small cup. Okay, globe statue, small cup. Where is the globe statue? I know the small cup's right there, but globe statue I cannot see. Ah, right there. There we go. We got a stamp and a light bulb. Amazing. And then let's go. Let's go in here. This looks interesting. Let's put the light bulb in there. We're not. We might not be able to see very well, but hey, man, it's, it's going. It's going down. Ooh, what is this? Dart gun knocks cat away from harm with harmless foam darts. That is really cool. I'm definitely taking that. Knocking cats away would probably be freaking amazing. Let's move all this shit out of the way and rebuild the defense. Man, this defense is literally getting its ass kicked like every time. It's it's still holding up, so it's not bad. But man, it is just every single time we it's just cats whoop the shit out of this. Okay, let's put that up there. Get another one. Do this. There's a fat cat coming on this side. Let's put this down. And uh, some armchairs. Let's put those in there. Keep these here because well, uh, actually we can get rid of these. We don't have that many watermelon cats coming. Um, I want to definitely use the dart gun. Definitely use that. Definitely put the pillows up up on here because, uh, yeah, they are, you know, Siamese cats are going to come in and probably demolish these pillows anyway, so we might as well. What else can we put up on here? I'm definitely saying, where's that dart gun, okay? We can put two dart guns down? Oh, man. Oh, we can only put one. Okay, we have 35 energy left. We might as well just, like, throw a pillow down. Like, hmm... I'm gonna put it right here, and then I'm gonna move. Oh wait, I have the, dart, the freaking yarn thrower here still. I didn't even notice that. Uh, where do we want to put this? On top of this? <laughs> Is that even a good idea? It's probably not. But uh, let's let's go ahead and try anyways. Ooh! Oh! It knocked. Oh! That was actually really good. It knocked him back. So far, so good. We haven't been hitting many cats with the yarn anymore, but that's all right. Wow, that actually went surprisingly well. We knocked back the fat cat, fat cat, which is amazing. Ooh, there's a fat cat getting ready, ready to pounce. All right, let's uh, put this back on its perch and then, you know, install the basic, you know, defenses of mattresses. These kids are awfully strong to be able to move so much stuff, I have to say. They're just moving stuff all day, every day, and they, they have, they're not even complaining, man. They're the best. They really are the best. It'd be really cool if we could have like more lamps. I think that would be awesome. Okay, gotta put this back up. Grab the freaking broom. There you go. Put the boom, the broom, the boom back. Put the boom back in the game. All right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. 
Broom is back. We have at least a one uh, watermelon dude on each side. Let's put the uh, pillows back. Because we do have Siamese cats coming. We definitely need a big fluffy beanbag chair. Um, and definitely a dark gun because these things are flipping amazing. All right. They are just straight up amazing. And I guess we can like maybe put this on top. Well, hold on, hold on. Maybe put this on top of it. Oh no, let's do it on this side actually. No! No, you ruined you ruined it, game. Oh my god, you're, you're just messing everything up right now. You're gonna make everything fall over. Stupid pillows. It's all getting knocked over. My plan is ruined, okay? My plan is ruined. Okay, there we go. Put this back. And then have this stand up correctly. And I don't even know what to do with this. So I'm gonna stand it over on this side. Oh, can't even stay up. No! I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's... Let's do the stand over here again. Even though it's not very good, we might as well. Oh, we missed, but we did yarn it. We did yarn it. Ooh. So far, so good. Oh, no. Everything is ruined. <laughs> Everything is ruined. Okay, the lamp is still doing its job, though. Wow, that actually went better than before. Ooh, a new chapter. Let's read this. What is this? Is this like the cat construction facility and like... It's tubes and you, know, you exercise it and you have water cats. Oh, to, oh, this is this testing facility to make sure that it can climb through, to make sure that the cats, you know, can withstand water and to make sure like they're, you know, physically active to make sure the battery lasts long enough. I see. Ah, smart stuff. More fat cats, huh? And a lot of freaking watermelon cats. Jesus, that is a lot of watermelon cats. We haven't uh, had this big of a thing go on yet. It's probably the most powerful yet to withstand. Um, we're gonna have to move this over here and put a bean bag right here because of the fat cat coming. Just in case, you know, we mess up. Put this back on top. Um, you know, more pillows. Definitely gonna have to to uh, get the brooms up a hundred percent. Pillows down. I'm not sure if these pillows are stopping the cats, actually, now that I think about it. Because they've been here for a long time. And haven't been knocking them back. Alright, we might as well try this. Let's see. Oh, ooh. That was actually pretty good. But we do have Siamese cats coming. Oh, no! The Siamese cats, are, they mess everything up, man. They're like uh, the fast uh, blue, not blue birds, or is it the fast yellow birds off of uh, whatchamacallit. What's that bird game? Holy crap, what is that bird game I'm trying to think of right now? Angry Birds, there we go. That's what they remind me of. Ooh, another package. What do we got? Some more balloons. We have a 270 charge on our freaking machine. We should probably go find items. Yeah, I think that would be pretty important. Because there's probably like two things we can get from here. Water bottle helps when destroyed, adds plus one to HP of surrounding items. Oh. Oh. It's not bad. Traps one cat, adding plus two HP to itself. You know, that's actually pretty cool. You can do that. Yes, we can grab the water bottle as well. There we go. I think that's everything in there. We might be able to grab the cat basket. Hey, Fort Meow! We have a, a little, like, you know, what are these called? Sheet and blankets hung up to show, you know, that this is the Fort of Meows. And this is, you know, ah oh man, that brings back memories of building forts with blankets and stuff. Anyways, I think that will be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed Fort Meow, there will be many more to come. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.